This is your time. This is your season. And this is your moment. This is Dr. Tommy Campbell Jr. Welcome to another special edition of This Is Your Time. Absolutely. This is your season, and this is your moment. I'm your certified life coach, your motivator, your inspirator. I want you to know that you are destined for greatness. I'm not just saying this. I don't care how many times. Listen, I'm here to build you up today. I want to encourage you. In this motivational video today, I want to encourage you. I want to motivate you. I want to inspire you. I want to empower you. That is the main thing I want to do, is I want to empower you. And while I'm empowering you, I just want to build you up. See, I don't want to do like everybody else and put you down. I don't want to tell you, I don't want to tell you you're not doing this, you're not doing that. You know what you're not doing. You know what you're doing. You know where you are. Listen, you are phenomenal. You are greatness. I'm pumped up today, y'all. I'm excited. You matter. You are beautiful. You are special. You are gifted. You are amazing. You matter. And you were meant to be. You are meant to be here. You, if it, listen, if you are here on this earth, the mere fact that you are here on this earth, that means you are supposed to be here. Because if you were not supposed to be here, you would not be here. And maybe I'm talking to somebody. You're going through a difficult time in your life. You're dealing with something. And you think you're not meant to be here. You think you're not meant to be alive. You think you are an accident. Let, listen, let me tell you, you are not an accident. You were meant to be born. You were meant to be. Uh, you were meant to live. You are meant to be successful. You are meant to be great. You are meant to be loved. You are. I'm gonna say that. You are meant to be loved, and I'm here to love on you. I want to tell the whole world that I get in front of this camera for free every day. Why? Because I love you all. I believe in you all, and you are greatness. Listen, listen. I want to let you know that you are greatness. And you matter. Listen, I want you to see yourself accomplishing your dreams. I want you to see yourself making your dreams a reality. Listen, I am in London. I am international. I am in corporate. I am in the NBA. I'm going to speak in the NBA. I am in the NFL. I'm going to speak in the NFL. I am international. I am corporate. Why? Because I believe in myself. And today I want to talk about from the subject is failure is necessary. That's what I want to talk to you about today. I want to give you seven principles that are going to revolutionize your life. And today we're going to be talking about failure is necessary. If you're going to become great, if you're going to become successful, you are going to have to experience failure. Listen, you're not perfect. We were not created to be perfect. We were not born to be perfect. Listen, we are going to make mistakes. Listen, I have a past, you have a past, and maybe I'm talking to somebody, maybe you are ashamed of your past. Listen, don't be ashamed of your past. Listen, you made it through your past, you made it through, your, through the decisions you made, and you are still here. Why? Because failure is necessary. You can win that Super Bowl. You can win the NBA championship. You can win them. You can get your master's. You can get your doctoral degree. You can get your PhD. You can get that GED. You can go back to high school and get your GED. You can write that book. You can become a doctor, a lawyer, movie producer, a rapper, singer, artist, architecture, sell real estate, sell insurance, an actor. I don't know what you want to do, but I want you to know that anything is possible. I may not know what you want to do, but what I can tell you, whatever you want to do, it is possible. Why? Because anything is possible. If you want to succeed as bad as you want to live, then you'll be successful. Listen, I turn my pain. Listen, that's what I want to tell you. I want you to recycle your pain. I want you to take all, listen to me. I want you to take all of your failures, 
I want you to take all of your mistakes. I want you to take your pain and recycle your pain. What do you mean, Dr. Campbell? I want you to take all the bad things that happen in your life and use it for something great and positive. Turn it into good. Stop being negative and become positive. Next thing is you must stop procrastinating. Stop putting it off. If you say you're going to get your GED, go get your GED. If you say you're going to get that education, go get that education. If you say you're going to start that business, start that business. If you say you're going to win the championship, win the championship. Listen, don't procrastinate. And I want you to work. You're going to have to put in the work because it's not going to come to you. You're going to have to put in the W, the O, the R, the K. Work. You're going to have to put in the work. Principle number one, the great Dr. Eric Thomas said, the bigger the dream, the harder the grind. If you have a big dream, you're going to have to put in 120%. If you have a big dream, the bigger your dream, you're going to have to go beast mode. The bigger the dream, you're going to have to go blah. The bigger the dream, you're going to have to go sweat. The bigger the dream, you're going to have to go tears. The bigger the dream, the harder the grind. Principle number two, it's going to be a dogfight. It's going to be hard to accomplish your dreams. Listen, if success was easy, then everybody will be successful. If success was easy, then everybody will be doing it. Listen, it's easy to get in trouble. It's easy to go to jail. It's easy to go to prison. It's easy to procrastinate. It's easy to be depressed. It's easy to not go after your dreams. But it's a dogfight to go after your dreams. It's a dogfight. It's hard to accomplish your dreams. Principle number three, in order to make your dreams a reality, watch this, you are going to have to put in 120%. If you want to succeed as bad as you want to live, then you'll be successful. How bad do you want to live? Yes, I know the pain is real. Maybe you had a bad childhood. Maybe something happened in your life that, that scarred you. Maybe you're going through some pain right now. Maybe you're depressed. Maybe your parents got a divorce. Maybe you're going through a divorce. Maybe you're in a toxic relationship. Maybe you're negative. Maybe you're depressed. Maybe you have a mental illness. Maybe you're dealing with some issues. Maybe you're going through some things that you are ashamed of. Maybe you're going through some things that you can't talk to anybody about. Listen. In order to make your dreams a reality, you're going to have to let go of your past. Yes, I know what happened to you when you were a child. Yes, I know your parents got a divorce. Yes, I know you grew up without a father. Yes, I know you grew up in a single mother home. Yes, I know you grew up in a dysfunctional family. But listen, failure is necessary. It's not where you were raised. It's like maybe you were born in a poor family. Listen, I don't care what your situation is. You can do it. You can be it. You can become it. You can blow up and become successful. You can take your pain, recycle your pain, and do something great with your life. Listen, I went from flunking to first grade, being labeled as retarded, having a reading and comprehension problem, having a learning disability, being bullied in school, barely graduated high school. High school teacher said I wasn't smart enough to go to college. I finally got in college, but I got sick and had a nervous breakdown, and I flunked out of college, but I got back in on academic probation. Then I was innocently shot multiple times and pronounced dead, and then I was homeless in 2009, and now I'm a first-generation college graduate student. I am Dr. Tommy Campbell, Jr. I'm a published author of four self-help motivational books. I'm a nominee for the Nobel Peace Prize Award. I'm a certified life coach and motivational speaker changing the world. And I get in front of this camera for free every day for the whole world. Why? Because I love you. Listen, look into this camera. I'm looking straight into this camera. And I'm looking into your eyes and I'm looking to your soul. And I'm telling you in your, to your soul that I love you, I believe in you, and I care about you. Principle number four, when you fail, please don't lose your persistence or enthusiasm. That's the key. When you fail, when you make a mistake, don't lose your persistence or enthusiasm. Enthusiasm. I want you to stay in. I want you to be, I want you to have your enthusiasm 
and I want you to be persistent. Listen, I'm going to say that again. When you fail, I want you to keep your enthusiasm, number one, and number two, I want you to be persistent, and number three, I want you to be consistent even when you fail. Principle number five, someone said failure is the opposite of success. It is part, it is a part of success. Woo! I'm going to say that again. Failure is not the opposite of success. It is a part of success. Failure, what do you mean to tell me that failure is a part of success? Listen, look at Michael Jordan, cut from high school. Look at Tom Brady, barely, graduated, barely got drafted to the NFL. Listen, the greats, they know what it's like to fail. The great Kobe Bryant, the great Tom Brady, the great Michael Jordan, the great uh, LeBron, the great Kevin Durant, the great Stephen Curry, the great Clay Thompson, the great Giannis, James Harden, all the other greats, the great CP3, Chris Paul. I could keep going on. Steve Jobs, Mark Zuckerberg, Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos, Warren Buffett, Richard Branson, Elon Musk, all the greats, great athletes, great CEOs, great entrepreneurs. And that could be you. You could be an entrepreneur. You could be the CEO of that company. You could become a billionaire. You could come up with that. Listen, there's somebody out there right now. You could come up with that billion dollar idea. You could come up with that multi-million dollar idea. Principle number six. If you are going to be great and successful, you are going to have to experience failure. If you are going to be great and successful, you're going to have to fail before you become great. Last principle. Anyone who has ever become great and successful has experienced failure. Anyone who has ever become great and successful, they have experienced failure. Listen, I want you to know you are destined for greatness. I want you to know you are destined for greatness. I want you to know that you are destined for greatness. You are amazing. Listen, you just des you deserve to fly first class. You deserve to get your passport. You deserve to go out of the country. You deserve, listen, I want to tell all the countries that I love you all. London, Germany, Paris, Sweden, Africa, all the other places, South Africa, all the other places, uh, pa uh, Egypt, uh, Dubai, all the countries. I want to tell all of you that I love you and I believe in you. Australia, Germany, France, China, Japan, United States of America, of course. You are destined for greatness. Greatness is in your DNA. You are great. You are going to show them you're a tiger. You're going to show them what you can do. The taste of your success, the taste of your greatness, it brings out the tiger in you. You are great. Your greatness, you are a diamond. But in order to become a diamond, you must go through the heat and you must go through extreme pressure. Maybe you're going through, maybe you're in the heat right now. Maybe you're going to have them going through a lot of pressure. Listen, you're about to become a diamond. You're about to go to the next level. You're about to accomplish your dreams. You're about to do what you've never done. You're about to be the first, fam first person in your family to do it. Listen, I want you to be the first person in your family to do something great. I want you to make history. I want you to prove your doubters wrong. Don't you know that your doubters, your haters, they cannot stop you? The only person that can stop you is yourself. So don't you get in your own way. Don't you stop you. Do it, be it, and become it. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please click the bell. Please spread the word about me as a motivational speaker all over social media. Please share my videos and click positive comments. Listen, I love you. I believe in you. And there's not a thing you can do about it. Only march. Get set.